Hi, welcome to my documentary. I'm going to be talking about, in this American accent of course, about me at drama school with these really mean girls. And by the thumbnail, there you go. So, first of all, I'm here with my mum. My mum's typical blonde. One of those blonde white girls, but don't get on her wrong side or she turns from white to literally red. But anyway, I'm homeschooled, so of course we're going to be going to these extracurricular activities. And I'm just going to be telling you my experience. I was like, please don't make me go, but I didn't have a choice. And if you want to see blonde girls, you're going to see a load of them here. So my mom's getting out of breath. So anyway, I came in and then this really rude girl went past. I tried to say hi, but then she just walked past so rudely. And then one of the staff came to welcome me and said it's such a nice place, but flashback, look what just happened. Anyway, I don't want to be the bad guy around here and complain, so I just let this one slide. And that's something I regret later on. So yeah, and it's not good. So then what I done is I just stood there and I was looking at them and they were just being so weird. They were laughing at me, and they were just walking, doing their own thing. So then, I done the worst thing possible, and I snitched on them, and told everything about my anxiety, my life, and what I think of them to a member of staff. Luckily, the member of staff understood that I was at the odd one out and not mean here, and she actually liked me. And me and her performed to the class to boost my confidence, and that was something that actually made me happy. I mean, seeing them all on Instagram, being rude, being mean, messing about with each other, and wrecking the place, I thought I had to submit a complaint. Call me Karen, but I speak the truth about people when I think they are totally evading my personal space. And now I'm going to go on to the second class dance. But the fact there was a lot of them and zero or one of me was not good. I was like the odd one out. But the fact that I all knew the dance and I didn't, it was so awkward. I was just standing there. They were all prancing at fairs, and I was like, oh my god, what's going on? I don't know a thing or two about drama. And then they were gossiping about boys, going, oh my god, that boy's stupid and whatever. And that made me really uncomfortable. Because the boy they were gossiping about actually had a crush on me. So this is going to be a major thing. But I might save this for part two. This documentary will be in all parts, so that's why. That's about it guys, thanks for watching, part 2 are coming soon, which will be lunchtime on the rest of dance, or the bye, see you later, bye. Okay, there you go, it wasn't recording. Hey guys, so basically, this is part 2 of my video. This won't be as good as part 1, because i done it in a different way to record, so it's going to be a bit different. But anyway, I hope you enjoy, thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my drum star situation video. And this time, instead of recording over Gut to me, I'm just recording on the camera app and I'm going to edit it on after. But anyway, let's just start. So, last time we were in dance class and, well, something happened and it's not good. These girls, the girls, were just laughing. And I was like, who are you laughing at? And then they just pointed at this boy and they went, this boy is so ugly, he's so stupid, he's disgusting. And I was like, oh my God, like, you guys have been rude all day. And they are cussing another human being. So I went up to him and I was like, did you know those girls? They are disrespecting you. And cussing you and he turned around to me and he went I know and I went really and he said they do it to me all the time everyone in here is so mean I'm the only boy in the class hope you aren't going to be mean to me and I went don't worry I wouldn't do that actually I'm not like everyone else here I don't have Instagram and I'm not rude and I'll never cuss another human being and we ended up talking and he just started to like me. He started looking at me. He started just staring to my soul. And we just started chatting. And that was the end of dance. 
Oh yeah, of course, we did the dances together. It was like a nice little routine. Dads would be laughing on their phones. But the worst part about it is then lunchtime came. And at lunchtime, I was sitting on the table on my own. Because I was like, huh. This is like my second time here, because the last time I didn't want to hear it on the pole. Last time was really similar anyway. And yeah, I sat on the table, and they were like, hey, do you want to sit with us? And I thought, you guys have been being rude all day. You were cussing the bar, but I'm just going to sit with you and see if you're going to be rude to me or anyone else. So I sat down on the table, and first of all, they kept gossiping about this girl. So this girl, she has a dog, and they kept calling this girl's dog ugly. There was a girl showing pictures of her dog on the other table, and the girls were like, the girl on the table, she's talking about her dog, but her dog is just so ugly. Anyway, so, I was like, oh my god, that's not bad. That's not good. And then they were having hairy balls, but they've got an accent, and they were like, hey, want some hairy balls? And then they said, oh my god, you've got hairy balls? And then they were being like really rude about it, going, haha, you got hairy balls, huh? you got hairy balls. And really teasing them. And then they started arguing. And then after, they started talking about their periods, which... I don't want to hear about that at the moment. I mean, yeah, it's a big thing for a girl to worry about. But... Do I want to hear that? Like... Anyway, they were on the Instagram and then they started taking pictures of me in the background of their photos without my permission. So then I had enough and I went off the table and they were like, where are you going? And I was like, bye, I'm leaving you because you guys, you just be making me feel uncomfortable. Anyway, why? And then I just can deal with it and I went and I told the teacher and I snitched and I told him, I was like, They've been being rude about other students. They've been taking pictures of me without my permission. Hey guys, welcome to part two. So, after I complained, I had one more class, and that class was film and TV. And what happened there? They were throwing paper airplanes in the class and passing notes to each other. And guess who they were cussing now? The teacher. Did I tell the teacher? I didn't want to tell him because I knew the girls would know that I'm snitch because I'm the only odd one out here. So, I just was like, nope. And I threw away the paper airplane after I told the head teacher about a few more stuff. And they kept laughing at me and laughing. And when I was walking away, they kept laughing, looking at me, staring at me. And I had enough. I went back to my mum's car. I told my mum everything. And what was her reply? Gwen, you still have to go to Dram Skull. These girls, they're just girls that join a drama school just to dance. They've got a passion in drama, they've got a passion in singing, they've got a passion in films. And I accept that. But the rudeness that came out of it, they are so rude. Because this is one last thing. This week, when I went to the drama school, I went in. This could be the final part, I'm gonna tell you this week now. I went in and they were all giving me dirty looks again like I'm some outcast. I just ignored them and I went in. And first I had the work lesson, the dance lesson. So we were dancing and what are they saying? They were saying, this dance is ridiculous. This is the teacher. So they were just being really mean. And I felt sorry for the teacher because there was a guy with a moustache and they kept cussing him and being just really, 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 really rude to him. And I was like, oh my God, like the disrespect they've got for adults or other people is just horrible. So then after the lesson, I teamed up with this girl and we done a drama skit. And she was actually quite nice. So she was like, only one of the nice ones there. She actually did look kind of mean though, but I don't know. I don't want to judge other people. So that was in the drama and the dance class. But it all started at lunch this time. And I just want to say one thing. Like, I sat 
that on the table. And this is when I met this little girl and I started talking to her. Have a listen. So my name is Gwen. Thank you for sitting with me, by the way. Yeah, I'm just sitting alone at the moment. Because those girls over there, they're really mean. And they were really horrible to me last week. So I just had to sit on my own. Anyway, after I started talking to her, everything was going good. Till I spilt my water, and then after, I had a drink of water, and then it spilled all over my shirt. And then I just had enough, okay? I went in the next class, and he went, oh my god, look, you're so rude. And I went, you're being rude? I'm being rude? You're being so rude to me. And, and then this is when I came up to the teacher, and I was like, you bumpy burpings in class. You're just being so rude. I spilled water on me. You're being just really rude to me. You're being really disrespectful. And I just can't believe it. And I just had enough. And they were just all looking. They kept asking me if I was okay. And they were just all sitting around me. And just like being really rude. Oops, my mum's calling someone. <sighs> and that was it. And they are just so rude. Because I went to the... German school teacher, and I said everything I told you guys, and I was like, that's disgusting. They were front paper airplanes, and they're just so rude because I tried to coexist with them. I tried to live alongside them, and they are just being rude. They're just calling drama. They're laughing at everything, every single time, and I will not tolerate this. And then this kid just laughed at me after, so I don't know. Probably because he saw me get mad, and that's it. They're the worst two weeks of my life at drama. And that's the end of the documentary for now. I'll make a full documentary about this after. <sighs> Bye, guys.